Hi, everyone. It's Tim Ria at Digital Health Live at the Summer Summit, San Francisco, with Laura Mitchell, who is a um, good friend, and you're the Chief Marketing Officer for Grand Care. You've been doing this for more, longer than most. Yeah, I've been in the industry for about nine and a half years. Yeah, so um, again, we had another great conference uh, topic called Getting Traction, the Markets to Watch, and Laura was brought uh, in for your expertise and really being uh, one of the seniors in this space. <laughs> Um, so what's your background? So um, I've been with Grand Care since the beginning. I'm one of the founding members of Grand Care Systems and um, sort of just morphed into this industry as far as from the aging in place and technology industry all the way to sort of digital health, which is the new buzz um, in, in, in this space. So I've just kind of by default been been involved in the in the industry. I've always had a marketing passion and marketing background and I've always been involved in technology. I mean in high school I was teaching, you know, that was when the internet was brand new. I was teaching internet fundamentals classes and HTML fundamentals classes and trying to actually convince people that the use of the internet was a good idea and it uh, very much, very much reminds me of this industry trying to convince folks that technology is a way to take care of their yeah, parents. It's like, no, trust me, the interwebs will be around for a while. Right, yeah, it's not just a bad. So what is Grand Care? So Grand Care is a touch-based appliance that goes into the home of someone trying to age independently. So it's um, it, it's really a source of information. It provides a, a resident with a one-touch video chat to family, uh, pictures, messages, emails, reminders, prompts them to do things, time to do this. It's really almost like a, a big smartphone on steroids without having to know anything about technology while well, it speaks to a bunch of sensors also that the family can sort of have peace of mind that mom's okay, that her blood pressure's right, that, you know, she's taking her meds and that she's safe. Now the magic and the art of doing a startup and creating a product from scratch and really creating a marketplace is getting traction. In your experience in marketing, where does that traction point, has, where has that taken place and, and where are we at with this digital health space and the hype cycle? Yeah, I think it's been helpful to have big organizations, big giants like um, Care Innovations as part of it, uh, Philips. Um, it's also been really helpful to have Samsung and Apple and Google all show that this industry has has legs. And so we're really starting to move. The Affordable Care Act was really helpful as a backdrop, um, really just igniting a fire um, under you know physicians and hospitals to force them to become accountable. So instead of you know where we're pretty crisis management oriented in the United States. It's really just forcing us to be more proactive and, and, and preventative, which is exactly what technologies like ours do. So give some people some tips and tricks looking at your nine year history in the space and, and grinding it out until you really are getting revenues in and, and customer adoption. Well, I think one of the major things is stop focusing on the technology. Um, you know, it, I, I love to give the example of, you know, when you go into a doctor's office and you you have a surgeon that's performing some sort of surgery, you're not saying, now, what tools are you using and how exactly are you going to do that? It's really outcome-based. You're going to fix my problem and and how we get there doesn't, doesn't really matter. And I feel like we need to stop focusing on the process and focus on the outcome. So if we've got a professional caregiver, you know, they have the expertise to provide that caregiving, um, you know, to provide their knowledge and wisdom of caregiving. So the method of delivery could be a combination of hands-on and virtual caregiving and remote monitoring. And so if someone gets to stay independent because of that, uh, it doesn't really matter how it's, how it's performed as long as we get the results we want. So what, um, what are some, I guess, tips or tricks you would give startups here in this space working on building new products to get to get past the chasm. Yeah, I think it's it's about you know a good uh, marketing campaign, a warm marketing campaign that's towards consumer. It really depends on defining the market. I would say to start small and go from there. Um, determine a couple t key markets and go after them instead of going after everybody. So if you decide your market is professional caregivers or long-term care providers or direct to consumer or ACOs or hospital healthcare providers, starting small and and you you know really pinpointing that specific demographic first um, and really keeping that focus on outcomes, keeping the focus on outcomes and not lending the question of efficacy of the technology. Because as far as we're concerned, the technology works. We've proven it for the last nine and a half years. It's, it's really not about the technology. It's about the implementation strategy and how we, how we deliver the results. So uh, that's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I always like... Uh, 
catching up with you. So what's next for you and Grand Care? Well, I think we're really moving. Um, we've recently brought on our, a new CEO, our um, founder CEO, um, transitioned to CTO, which was always his vision because he's our he's our MIT engineer vision guy. Um, so we're continually pushing the limits, um, adding in new capabilities. We'll uh, keep watching for new sensors that we're um, as because we you know we're a software company, so we integrate new sensors as they become available and affordable. So we'll continually integrate new sensors, new um, software technologies into it look for some brain fitness that we're going to be adding, um, some memory boosting features. Just keep building up the product to make it more comprehensive. How do people link up with you in Grand Care? Well, they can follow me on Twitter at Grand Care or at Laura H. Mitchell, or they can um, check us out at uh, www.grandcare.com. All right. Well, that's Laura Mitchell, good uh, friend and family of the Digital Health Network. So good to see you again. Good to see you too.